Hello guys, thank you for tuning in to this Microsoft Access Database tutorial. My name is Akko Smiler. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you on how to place watermarks in your Microsoft Access report. How to customize your Microsoft Access report with the use of watermarks. Microsoft Access, unlike Microsoft Word, has not got any pre function that or pre feature that can be used to automatically or easily place watermarks. But in this video, I'm going to actually share with you one of the easiest methods that we can use to place watermarks on any report in Microsoft Access. So you be with me as I take you through this particular tutorial. But guys, before we'll actually jump into today's tutorial, uh, I would like to introduce our Microsoft Access Fundamental Seminar that is coming on on the 21st, sorry, coming on on the 21st of December 2022. So that is next week. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in this particular seminar. The price is actually 20 US dollars wherever that you are. So if you are interested and you want to join, it's completely online via Zoom webinars. And I look forward to share with you amazing tips on how to build your databases in Microsoft Access. So these are the things that I need to expect. We'll be giving you free certificates, there will be certificates. Then also there are software database templates in VBA that will be dashing all of our participants then also uh, there's going to be a marketing session we whereby people we are going to take you through how to market and make income out of your databases guys this is a very relevant course come join and then learn a skills or upgrade your skills in microsoft assets so i look forward to seeing you here if you want to register check down the this, the link in the description of this particular video kindly tap it register and we meet on the come 21st thank you very much okay so now microsoft access before we can place watermarks we first need to get a report so uh although the we are going to create a basic report here uh, that we will use to insert our watermarks okay so without not much i do although the concern is not on reports but then uh, let us quickly go through the report so we're going to create i'll use a report wizard so i'll Double, I will just click the double arrow to bring all the fields. I'll go to next, next, next. Now use column now, next, and then finish. So let us preview to see uh, the basic reports that we've actually created. So guys, this is the report. Let us go to the design view and do some couple of changes there. So the first change I will do is to select all the fields that we have here. Right click, the size, we set it to widest. And then also I will select every control and label uh i prefer times zero as a font then then also i'll use 14 then also the color let us use black so now i would like us to uh shape fill let us set it to transparent so that the watermark can clearly show and shape outline will be using this okay so now we can bring this here and we say parents table so parents sorry parents reports okay so parents reports now let us click here also background and center so this here to make it bold okay so now i'll right click alternate field i'll select none okay so like i said the report is not a major concern of this particular video but we need it because that's where we are going to insert our water it is on the report that will be inserting our watermarks okay so let me open my file explorer so okay so this is the logo that we had like to place on the report as watermark okay so the logo is actually here as main okay so now what we need to do is that we minimize microsoft access now because microsoft access doesn't have any feature that can help us to do this automatically we will have to incorporate or make use of microsoft word so what we need to do is that we create a blank microsoft word document so on the desktop i'll go to new now select microsoft so here i'll just say watermark and now let us double click to easily open our newly created microsoft word documents okay so let me exit expand now we are going to insert watermark on this particular uh, i mean work area so or this particular page so i'm using office 20 
10. Those of us using Office 2013 and above, you will find that in your design tab. So you go to page layout, watermark. Okay, so we come down and select custom watermark. Now we click picture watermark, select picture. Okay, so we have the picture in our download folder. So I'll go here. So this is a picture. Now let us select it, hit OK. Okay, so now you can see that we have a watermark over here. So what do we do? Now we come to our search area, we type sniping, we click. So we are going to take a shot of this. So let's select. Okay, so good. We are good to go guys, Control S to save. Okay, so now let us choose a location. Now I would like to place it still in the download and I'll call it watermark. And now I uh, can choose JPEG or any of it. So let me choose PNG to give us a uh, good transparency. So we are done. Now you can close this without even saving this document. You can also delete this document now or you can choose to also leave it. But then the case, we are not going to use it any longer. What we needed was a picture. So now we come back to the design view of this uh, report. Okay, so now you go to formats, background image, browse. Okay, so here we go to download and we have watermark here, the one that we created for Microsoft Access. Okay, so now you can see that the picture has now been inserted as a watermark neatly in here. So uh, if you want to see it clearly, then uh, let's change the color here to also blend with the background of the details of the report. So here we double click here, shape fill, let's select white guys. So now we are done. So now who we have our watermark neatly inserted in our report. So we have our watermark. Now let us print preview this. So once you print preview this, as we can see, this is a watermark that we are actually having. So you can zoom it. We can actually zoom it. Let's zoom it and see. So this is a watermark. Okay. So guys, as you could see, it is so easy creating watermarks in Microsoft Access with this simple approach. Uh, so that will be the end of today's video. This is indeed a very important technique that I believe we had loved. Kindly like this particular video. And then also if you have any comments or a suggestion for a video, kindly put it down in the comment section. I will attend to it. Still reminding you that register for the course in the description of this particular video. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.